So yesterday, I think the pleated skirt is is easier to do with uh, with two pieces, um, one from the front, one from the back. So I might just do that uh, again. And I have, of course, forgotten what the measurements are for my lady here. That's edit. So this is basic circumference measure at about kind of here. Oh, I see. Sixty. Yeah, let's call it sixty. Okay. <laughs> Without hair, she looks a bit weird, but that's cool. Sixty is good. Uh, so thirty at the front and thirty at the back. Thirty and five, maybe. And I'll do it like I did it uh, yesterday. I'm going to go and make the just one part first, and then I'll uh, I'll make this. I'll freeze this here, so not really taking into consideration her. And then I'll make it uh, three times bigger, maybe even four times bigger, so we have even more gathering. So that's thirty times. That's like hundred twenty. So to hundred twenty by by fifty, maybe. I'll see. Let's see if it looks if it's going to look any good or not, who knows. <laughs> we will we'll find out. Let's remind ourselves how we use the pleats tool again. So first the folding, oh actually first the internal lines. So offset as internal line. <laughs> you Bach, excellent. Chris, I clinked my glass to you with a bit of eggnog, which we've purchased yesterday. I did actually try it in my coffee earlier. It was delicious, but I thought, no, I'm gonna keep these two liquids separately. Yeah, so this is down to you that I now have eggnog in the house and Julie and I actually like it. That's cool. We like it so much that we might actually procure another larger bottle over the next few days to keep it in the house because they in, in the in the US they only sell eggnog at this time of the year and now they no longer get new deliveries in. So there we go. <laughs> in the shop making a mess. Oh, Rod, what were you doing? Is it has it got to do anything with your with your table? Uh, now, I'll, I'll do this from one side, only because I know how that works. Perhaps maybe four centimeters. And we'll just see how that... It's probably going to work. It does. So it's, it's 29, so let's just see if this is a good number. It needs to be a number divisible by three. Plus, yes, it does, doesn't it? Which is why you're not supposed to have a glass. You're supposed to have half a cup is 210 calories, and it is 100% sugar and carbohydrates. And there might be a 1% protein in there as well, but <laughs> yes, that's what it is. So 29, I think, is, is actually the ideal number because 27 is divisible by three without um, whatever, mantissa, operand, whatever the, the thing is, the thing at the front uh, before the comma. I really don't know what that is. But so that has to be divisible by three. And then we add two Brian's work out. So that'll be 29. So it's perfect, actually. Excellent. And we need to have that happen because otherwise the the, 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 the some tool isn't going to, you know, that's not going to work. So we're going to do that and use extend trim and add point to pattern outline. Check. I think that's how we do that. Then we go for the pleats folding tool from here to there. And then we decide what pleats we want to make. So knife pleats, box pleats or accordion pleats. Yesterday we made knife pleats and I think the skirt was a little bit too tight. I'd like to actually try to do all of them. So let's just go knife pleats, then box pleats, then accordion pleats. And we'll see which one, like, which one we like best. Caden Leaks, thank you so much for following. Is it Caden Leaks? 
Sometimes I have trouble pronouncing names. I do appreciate that it's sometimes not meant to sound like K Kaden Leaks, I think. Kaden Leaks, thank you so much for following. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you. Let's do this knife. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Wonderful to see you. We're going to use number of internal lines per pletus three because I think it means this one and that one and this one. These are kind of three together, maybe. I thought they're just two, but I guess they're three. Three works better, so we're just going to do that. Lines change all over the place. That's all good. Now let's see if we can remember how to use the pleat sawing tool from here to there. Check. And then from here to there. And not to here, because that's not good. Let's do that to here. And this is now this kind of a scary part. This is frozen, this piece. Let's see if we can make it do its pleated thing here. It does. And so this is deliberately more material than you'd use for really even pleats. I think you'd use three times the amount of... Uh, cloth that you do you have on the on the beginning so if you had like 10 centimeters here you'd use 30 for here but i thought that skirt was a bit tight yesterday so i'm giving it more uh, more fabric just to see what it looks like and now that we've done that perhaps we're going to go and copy that so that we have a back and a front for this and just put that in the exact same spot which Might be lunacy, but I thought. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not actually do that. <laughs> that makes selecting a bit of a nightmare. Yes, we got both. That's perfect. So turn that around horizontally, I think. There we go. That's cool. The waistband is still frozen. Both waistbands actually are still frozen. So let's go and simulate that first. Let's make that do its thing. Now let's see if we can combine the waistbands here. Oh, actually, I should have used the other one. This and that. It doesn't want to do that, does it? So let's go and select. It's difficult to select when they're on top of one another. There we go. Got it. I can just go move that out of here. There. <laughs> Everyone says hello. That is really nice. Righty, and then we put that just, just kind of over here. And now let's go take that scary sewing tool out and go from here to here. Does it work? Does it? Does it? Yes! Awesome! Now we go from here to here. And now we'll go and unfreeze the waistband and hope for the best. Come on, we can, we can, we can, but oh, there we go. Stay, yes. Okay. Not so bad. All we need is a little sewing line on the bottom here. From here to here, I would imagine. Is that right? Yes. Yes, yes. And from here to here. Boom. Skirt closed. I think that's nicer than the skirt we made yesterday. I don't know if that is how you'd make a pleated skirt, but it, I do like the fact that it's more... Uh, it has more... 
There's just a bit more fabric there. I think yesterday's skirt was a bit too tight, really. If this is going to look nice with our drawn-on t-shirt, which I think I totally agree with you guys, it should have different sleeves. 